When's the last time you received a letter? Chances are, you didn't notice the stamp. For most of us, stamps are just tiny receipts showing that we have paid to post the letter, easily forgotten, and tossed in the trash. But to the collectors who have gathered at the Buenos Aires International Philatelic Exhibition, each stamp is a tiny work of art that tells a unique story. And some of those stories have come all the way from China. 140 collectors from 18 countries have gathered at the exhibition, which began on August 25th, to showcase stamps going back hundreds of years with themes ranging from nature to history and art. Dentro de, del sello uno encuentra la historia del país, la cultura, la flora, la fauna, el deporte. Eh, así que bueno, dentro de una, una estampilla encierra, encierra mucho, mucha historia y bueno, hay que estudiar. Para armar una buena colección hay que estudiar, hay que dedicarle tiempo, horas para conseguir los sellos, los sobres. One particularly interesting set of stamps is being exhibited by collector Carlos Chiavello. This batch of stamps from China, the first of those issued featuring a dragon, was printed by the Daqing Post Office more than 120 years ago. In 1896, Emperor Huangshu of the Qing Dynasty approved the opening of the post office, marking the birth of China's modern postal service and its opening to the wider world. But Carlos and the other exhibitors aren't here to show off, they're here to compete. Collectors are pulling out all the stops to display their most valuable items to the event's many visitors. Hay eh, jurados de clase tradicional, otros de historia postal, otros de temática, otros de enteros postales, hay de fiscales también. Son todas clases distintas y tipos de, de, de colecciones distintas. Y por eso ya hay jurados especializados en cada clase. And the competition is tough. These exhibitors have dedicated their lives to collecting and preserving thousands of tiny pieces of history. Each stamp is a work of art in itself, showing that beauty and creativity can be found in everyday life.